Hi everyone, this is Alitha here and I am coming on so excited, um, so excited for so many reasons. I am excited to start building, building my platform and building um, my connections with you. I am coming on raw, authentic, you know, not dressed up, not, not anything. I just want to be myself today because today is Monday. And before I go any further, I want to give recognition to the men and women, um, soldiers that are out there fighting for our freedom, keeping us safe. And this is Labor Day weekend. So we talk about the folks that have gone, the th folks that have sacrificed their lives as well. And we don't want to forget about them. And so um, I want to just say thank you to all our veterans, alive or not alive, but thank you for all this, th the work that you do. And it's not just veterans, though. It's the first responders that are out there in the modern day world, in the civil, civil, civilian world, that is doing just as much sacrament. And so, thank you, thank you. And so I came, I come on this week for the main purpose of doing a meditation with you. Every Monday, I will do a meditation with you. Um, today's meditation is an intentional meditation. The purpose of it is to help you um, stop your mind from overthinking. And it's also to help you release yourself from the chronic of overthinking and to, to, to find peace and, and um, joy where you are. Um, if you saw the re reading that I did yesterday for the group, the message is, this week, we are going to work on you. Everything has come at you from the world, from the environment so far, and it's constricted you into this space of um, either being alone or just compact in a, in a home where you're with everyone. And it's forced you to change your thinking and your behavior to accommodate others. But this week, this week is about you. It's about where you have come from, where you've arrived from that constriction, and how we can help you find peace even in the storm. And so, without further ado, I'm going to do a 30 minute video meditation. I invite you to find a place to sit where your feet are flat on the ground or you're laying down. On a, on a mat or you're laying down in a hammock like I do most of the time. So you can even take me to your hammock and lay down. I don't know if my voice is, um, is soothing for meditation for you, but I'm going to try because this is where I am and this is what I do. This is one of my uh, mind and body practices that I do as often as I can. Meditation is very important to me because it does so much to my mind, to my body, and um, that is just a, a, a precursor to what's going to happen on our my interview with Steve Lawrence on the 9th. He's going to talk about how we can bring meditation into the schools because it's so important to, to help our children find purpose in themselves, finding that joy inside of themselves. And so without further ado, hitting 333, it says I need to start the meditation. So go ahead, find your space, and welcome into the space. You may have a blanket if you want to lay it over your legs. your shoulders, bringing warmth into the space, settling for the next 30 minutes. Begin to inhale and exhale. 
at your own pace. You may close your eyes or not, or just leave a far off glare in the distance. Like me, I'll be looking at the beautiful picture that I've created outside where I have a butterfly tree where the butterflies are flying and a hummingbird flower where the hummingbirds are feeding and my beautiful passionate uh, flower that is out there. And so my glare will be off in the distance, but I am in going into this meditative state. So begin to inhale and exhale. Follow your own rhythm. This is your time. You have control to relax yourself in a common state. Gently become aware of feelings and sensations that are pleasingly shifting in your mind. As you enjoy the shift of focus, begin to focus more inward. Inhale. And exhale. Simply continue to listen to the sound of my voice, the sound of the music as they travel with you. And you further relax in your serene contentment. You and I know you are safe and secure. And my words will be trusted, friend, like a trusted friend, or your own personal inner life coach, travel or travel guide. As you relax deeper and deeper into your journey, your inner mind release. You can expect very soon many changes to occur. Since the uniqueness of your mind will release your, your unique changes. Now active in, in your trance the deeper wisdom of your inner self. As deep a part of you that knows how to deliver comfort, relaxation, and comfort that you need. Just relaxing and simply breathing. Going deeper and deeper into a safe space. Slowly and smoothly, you enjoy watching yourself floating gently deeper as in an elevator you enjoy watching the passing off the floors very soon you may imagine a nourishing flow of energy entering your space see what color it is and welcome it in Maybe something like the vital sap of a tree given release toxin from its body. As it spread throughout your body like a soothing, peaceful nectar, so rich and pleasing. Even already with this idea for new growth and support and beliefs about your own connection, about your intention that you're about to set, that are stirring inside of you. You observe movements towards you and match an energy of gratitude as the flow of abundance wraps itself around you. 
No As you call upon your ancient ancestors to join you, connect with you from above, you go deeper and connect into this feeling of this field of energy where you experience more flow of energy gently connected to your body. So common inside as you hear nothing on the outside. Here is where the depth of your downtime will allow you to set aside all conscious cares as conscious thoughts become far less conscious and unconscious ideas begin to wander more freely about. Inhale. And exhale. It is normal to hear sounds and any other movement you feel you are drifting further away. And always there is a part of you that knows you can return when you want. The vitality of the breath will always be there. So when your thoughts drift, trying to pull you back to the outside, may I invite you to return your focus and your attention to the breath. Prepare to receive meaningful downloads. Allow your breath to go slower. Inhale. And exhale. Adjust your focus into a deeper void of your inner mind to explore as many changes as you come. Welcome. Changes that will make life easier to improve your own quality of life. So well lived and enjoyed. Inhale. And exhale. Imagine movement like a pendulum, a very slow pendulum clock, moving ever so slowly back and forth. You know that there is no need to speed up that pendulum or your thoughts, since ample energy is there to create movement. Imagine a new vision that tomorrow will be will bring a richer and more fulfilled connection. Aligning you effortlessly to more inner connection. Imagine seeing yourself as prosperous. Feel inside as rich as you would like to feel. Feel the gratitude building as you know more and more gratitude will propel you closer and closer to your goal. See yourself giving away your abundance because it is in the giving that helps us plant and grow the strongest and richest trees watching every branch grow so gracefully, knowing every part of that tree has a role in the beauty you see and feel. Knowing there are creatures and animals that need your nourishment from each of those branch as they spread further and further out the ripeness of your fruit depends on how you feel inside. And so let's go inward, further and further inward. 
even though you do not know what all the roles are, imagine a vision where you are gliding and gently walking down your sacred and safe trail. where you will run into an opening of a portal that is so enchanting and beautiful to you. This door is made of the rarest jewels of your liking. I wonder if you can see the key that only you see. As you take it and open this portal step right through. Inhale and exhale. A marvel of such beauty spreads before you. This majestic and beautiful space. As you invite yourself to move into this space and begin to organize it for your inhabitant, where you can have your own habits, your own beliefs and thoughts. Inhale. And exhale. Engage your deeper programs that know how to engage your ability to connect to the energy of abundance and wealth. Remember, your definition of wealth and abundance is your definition. You are still holding your special key. It is now illuminating itself to you. Everything that present or represent absolute abundance and wealth to you is in that key. So you engage the key into the portal and feel the smooth and flowing moment. You feel powerful vibrations. Gears moving and whirling, hearts unwinding. You hear click and you open the door. With anticipations and excitement, you open it and enter all the way through, smoothly guiding. You're able to enter into a cave, into a mountain's cave, to explore many treasured rooms, down into a sublime space of comfort. You have a memory of comfort. You feel there is an aura of plentitude, an energy that is effortless and feels so right and welcoming. There is a feeling of certainty guiding you and telling you that you are most welcome. Deep down you know that you are always and have always been the keeper and owner of these ancient gifts. The gift of love, the gift of unconditional positive regard, the gift of compassion, of grace, of unity, of harmony. You are now ready to receive your own prosperity into your life. Inhale. And exhale. You are choosing to travel wisely and explore in these treasured spaces through alcoves of spectacular wealth and riches, through winding passages of a stunning beauty, through warmth and welcoming chambers of rays of light. So as you breathe, connect to those parts of your body that is not welcoming those passages and flow. 
find where there is a stuckness and surround it with warmth, love, and welcome, and encourage it to release, to flow into the space. Through warmth and welcome of rays of light, push this energy through your body and let it become your own guiding beacon that will give you clues that were left by your inner guides, ever so wise. Ah, yeah, I feel it. Lord, I can feel it all from the bottom of your feet all the way up to your head. Feel it. It is a joy to inhale deeply the sweet smelling scents of a red candle, candle still burning, still shining, to guide you to your destination. And ever so exciting, these winding curves reveal something in your deepest memory, something that feels right and comfortable. So many clearer answers and solutions are coming to you. Answers and solutions to questions that you may want to ask yourself. Query that you are now ready to resolve. You're, you've emptied the space, removed the tension that which did not serve you, and now you have the space and the capacity to receive these solutions. These deeper special visions are coming to you now with all their insights, powerful messages and meanings, sending you such clear and certain deep lessons and answers. Lessons that will help you grow your prosperity into your wealthier, more affluent and grateful life. Allow these solutions to reach you. You are realizing that you are trans, you are, your hallway, your vessels inside of you are transporting you into the abyss of mystical trails where you see yourself as the connoisseur. Upon the, and upon your rarest and most beautiful paintings. Each one of them teaching you how you can release that which no longer serves you. You see and interpret ancient scripts on the wall, like a deep, deep current radiate the energy of prosperity and wealth on a divine frequency, reaching out to you with all magic sounds of gold and smoothing music that makes you feel so, so amazing. Your sense, you tangle of pure gratitude and joy as you reach and respond so deeply and directly inside. Feeling all of your richer prospects of powerful growing inside of you. Sensing your innate expressions, building your inner world as natural presents as your own birthright. These vibrant pictures you see clearly, sound so audible, are part of your life with your wealth of gratitude and prosperity. Your mind will continue to create warm pictures and lives full of wealthy days and rich nights. So satisfying and good. To feel so grateful in your heart, to feel so fulfilled and overjoyed because you feel finally you have enough. You have created so easily more than enough to provide for yourself and share with others, no longer 
just enough to get by. Start thinking about your intentions as you breathe. Feel where in your body, as you think about these intention, there is tension. And, and sit and explore the emotions that come with these intentions that you're trying to set. But allow flow and let go. Ask with gentle caress these tight tension motions that are trying to keep the, your, your intentions from flowing. Kindly and gently ask them to let go. As you experience a deeper breath, waiting for this new energy to come out, finally, you can move forward with all kinds of joy and replenish hope. You are no longer weighted down with old and properly poorly limited minded thoughts. You are witnessing yourself floating up and up into the most affluent and plentiful visions of yourself joining your own personal and riches of values. These are the best of times and where you are growing wealth and finances and strength and spiritual growth, it feels so good. Finally, you are achieving all of your goals. You are seeing and knowing your own value and sense of worth. And enjoying your success because you have earned it all the way. You are turning all your resources and your innermost of creative capabilities to deeply express themselves off your growing value and worth. You are vividly watching this as your own reflection with all others you encounter in your life. Because you are extending your inert worth and it reaches out and touches all around you. Building all kinds of transactions and transformations of all good worth of wealth and appreciation. How you finally and permanently get out of your own way to unleash the power within your, to grow your wealth. What choices did you make that led you to feel and always you seen yourself so wealthy? That you are deserving of your greater and increasing wealth. Really? Ask yourself, how much did your gratitude and appreciation of what you are receiving help grow your prosperity? As you see yourself grow into a more affluent and financial growth, how much gratitude is enough? How much wealth is enough? For you, genuinely see yourself in prosperity and always align yourself in mind, body, and spirit to both the outer and the inner agreement of your highest sense of wealth. Now, continue to receive these powerful solutions and insights be they visions, words, sounds, or feelings. Because deep, deep down, you are now continuing to allow these subconscious solutions to share with you conscious daily awareness. So much richer thoughts and so many richer beliefs begin to make so powerful and richer changes inside. Oh, Kosi Neki Na, Pona Neti, Akana Etai Kofai. As this energy wraps around you, so powerful, it is your unconscious resources creating new automatic guidance and behaviors 
shifting to create your happy gratitude, even as the very deepest part of you. Take this moment to inhale. Witness everything successful of you growing. Everything you look at, you see simultaneously building your life. You are growing richer in your feelings, no matter how little or how big. You are really sincerely grateful for everything that comes your way. Grateful for every coin and note and amber you see arising. Every gift you are arising because your energy is aligning with your richer gratitude. Inhale. And exhale. Your inner appreciation attracts more and more of the same. You are aware of the law of the universe. As your compassion awareness links you to this power, the strength and warmth of your gratitude aligns you to this higher path. You see a more productive life calling to you. Your path of sincere value and purpose where you easily let out the success of your inner benefits because you see gratitude in the deepest form. Your gratitude flows from the guiding heart, encouraging and balancing you, flowing in so many forms and aligning you with inner harmony and generating your most gentle spirit. Oh, to find in everything that you do this week, those people, those energies, those beings that brings out that gentle spirit. The more you connect to the universe, universal energetic wealth flow, your path will become ever so clear. You will soon discover you are now reach another door. Now you're seeing an even more profound gateway to the universal records. An entrance so large. Here now is an entrance to the ancient way to prosperity. In this space of total abundance await you. This space is the complete opposite to any poor or poverty-minded thinking. The sublime antidote to any lack in wealth, to every place where there is law of abundance, disintegrate any negative or feeling of lack within you. Suddenly, just like that, you realize this door acknowledges you. Even as you sense this powerful dissolve, you pass poor and weaker thoughts. At this precious moment in time, you have the opportunity to finally choose to be richer and wealthier, more affluent and more prosperous person you'd like to be a more generous and grateful person, a more balanced person, a more harmonious person, a more charitable person. I am gonna let you sit in quiet as you connect with this universal energy. Set your intentions clearly for the week. And when you're ready, you continue focusing on the breath you slowly open your eyes. So for now, set your intentions as we sit together in this space of beautiful, wonderful wisdom.
I welcome you back into your space of consciousness. I hope that this meditation was good for you. Um, may I encourage you to use it through the week if you have to um, try to um, meditate at least twice this week and do some movement, create some movements in your body. This is Aletha Williams, and I really, truly enjoyed being here in the space with you. I encourage you to follow up with the, the interview that I'll be doing with Steve Lawrence. Again, he'll be talking about how we can incorporate meditation into the schools with both for the teachers as well as the students and allowing the kids to learn how to go inward to take notice, become aware of their emotions and to observe their emotion and be able to sit with their emotions without being reactive as they have been. Social media was already a stimulant to overstimulate in the, our kids. But now that with the pandemic, it's forced us to force them to do everything on social media, they're coming back to schools completely erratic, unable to regulate their energies. And so this is a vital and important um, uh, tool, toolkit, uh, tool to put in the toolkit for the kids. And so join me this week as I interview Steve Lawrence as he talks about his workshops and what he's doing to bring mind, body, and spirit and wellness into the schools. This is Aletha Williams signing off and enjoy your Monday.